So then guys, we all know the Mac Mini is one of the best value Macs you can get out there. In fact, I'd actually claim it is probably the best value Mac that has existed in a long time. You just plug it into any monitor and you're ready to go with Mac OS and the Apple ecosystem. But here's the question, what happens if you want that same kind of compact desktop design and feel, but to run Windows, Linux, or even SteamOS underneath your TV for gaming? Well, this here is the Geekom IT15 Mini PC. And right out of the box, you get a small premium feeling metal chassis with a surprisingly roomy internal design. And if you wanted this under your TV as a mini gaming box to run SteamOS instead of Windows 11, well that's a totally clean option here. Inside the IT15 packs an Intel's Core Ultra 285H, a 16 core and 16 thread processor that pushes up to around about 5.4 gigahertz with good single and multi-core performance. And it's also paired up with an Arc 140T integrated graphics. Now in comparison, the Mac Mini M4 Pro uses Apple's custom silicon with up to 14 core CPU and 20 core GPU. GP pushing unified memory and Apple's architecture is definitely more efficient here. It's better for Mac OS and everything to work with that. And obviously building everything from the ground up all the way up to the software layer, this definitely wins hands down. But the IT15 answers that open platform flexibility. If you did want to have Windows, Linux, or even SteamOS for a dedicated gaming setup, and even if you hate Windows 11 and you want something simpler underneath your TV, then this is definitely a great option. Now for actual storage and also memory front, the IT15 layout is excellent here. We actually get dual channel DDR5 RAM, and this is up to 64 gigabytes, what you can actually put inside of this, once the prices go down, of course. But what I've got equipped inside of this one is 32 gigabytes. And there's even more room to add another PCIe NVMe SSD inside of this. So that means if you've got big project files or if you want to put loads of games on here, lots of retro games and things like this, this would be great for that. And also the ports are plentiful too. On the rear, we've got USB-A, we've got USB-C, USB-4 ports, we've got two HDMI, Ethernet 2.5 gig, and lots and lots of options here. Even on the front, we also have two more USB 3.2 ports. And of course, this also is Wi-Fi 7 enabled as well. But then what about gaming then on this? Well, this is a big question because obviously this is a tiny little box, well, how powerful is it? Well, the Arc 140T iGPU isn't a discrete desktop GPU, but it's still very solid here. And as you can see here, I've been testing Cyberpunk 2077 and using that Arrow Lake architecture here, it does a quite a fair job. You can see here that I'm getting over 60 frames per second here at 1080p. And this is very, very good for a device like this. And then if you decided to push up even further, like upscaling tech, like XESSS, this is an option for this, or even FSR, because you can run that on this too, because obviously that's how it works. So FSR 2.0 or 2.1 or whatever it is, FSR 3, this would work no problem. And like I said, putting SteamOS on this would also help out. And like I said, having this next to your Mac Mini as a sort of a gaming PC option, this is definitely something that you could have on your desktop side. But it's not just gaming that this works for too. Obviously you could do things with AI and LLMs and things like this. And in fact, you've got 99 tops of sort of MPU kind of power inside of this. And obviously you can use creative apps like Adobe Premiere and you can throw like 4K and even 8K videos at this. And this does a great job. And also, like I said, having that large SSD and the option to add even more into this device is definitely something brilliant as an option to have. So what's the real takeaway here? Well, the Mac Mini with an M4 chip or even an M4 Pro chip, this remains an awesome compact Mac, the best Mac you can buy for the money. It's excellent for creative workflow, app development, video editing, and also if you want something in the you know Apple ecosystem, this is a no-brainer. 
But like I said, if you wanted something a little bit different, something to run Windows, Linux, or even say have a device sitting next to your desktop dedicated for gaming with all your little, little games and things like this with Steam OS on it, this is definitely a great option, especially you've got all those ports and also the upgradability inside of the IT15. So this is definitely a device to actually, I would say to have next to your Mac mini with that, with your choice of OS on top. But if you do want to check out the IT15, make sure that you check out the description below of this video because I have links to it. And on that note as well, guys, would you consider having a mini PC next to your Mac mini at the same time? And if you would, would you consider having an Intel one? Well, let me know in the comments below. And on that note as well, guys, it's time to wrap up the video too. So if you enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. As always, if you want to hear the latest technology news, reviews and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.